Hello everyone. Our lecture today would be about abbreviations and acronyms. Mm, do you know what what is an abbreviation and what is the difference between an abbreviation and an acronym? Mm, you're going to know all about it today inshallah. And of course, you have to concentrate with me and focus on each slide while I am explaining the lesson so you would get what we mean by abbreviations and acronyms and you have to study hard and memorize the examples I'm gonna give you because in the exam expect to find a question including six abbreviations or acronyms and you're gonna be required to provide us with the words they stand for so good luck let's start What's an abbreviation and what's an acronym and how they are different from each other? Let's start with abbreviations and then we move on to acronyms and you will get to know how they are different from each other. An abbreviation is a shortened form of a word. So you have one word, you write it in a short form, but it is pronounced as a full form. Hmm? Is it difficult? Can you get that? I'll give you an example and it will be clear. I promise. Mister. We covered the word mister when we talked about capitalization rules. Remember? Mm, I bet you remember that. Mister. How do you write the word mister? Can you tell me? Mister is written as M-R. But they are pronounced as M-I-S. T E R, which is the full form of the word. So, Mister, the written form M R, is an abbreviation of a full form. We pronounce the full form, but we write the abbreviation. Another example: when you write a letter to your friend, of course you include your address. When you include your address, you write the street name. Street, for example, Al Rajhi. Street, for example, Street 300. In Monsaya, they use numbers for streets. So, Street 300. Will you write Street S T R E E T? No. You will write it as S T Nota, period, full stop. Then, the name of the street or the number or whatever. So, here, ST, which is pronounced as a street, the full form, is an abbreviation of the full form. Do you get it now? So, abbreviation is a shortened form of one word. We pronounce the full form, but we write the shortened form. Another example, last one here in the slide, I promise. Christians have saints. It is like what we have as Muslims as Sheikh, for example. Saint is Qiddis, saint. They write it as ST. Mm. <laughs> now you laugh, just like street, but you will get it from context. You will understand that we mean saint, not street, of course. When they speak about Saint Peter's, for example, or Saint uh, Marcus, we pronounce scent, but it is written as st. So here, again, abbreviation is a shortened form of a word. You pronounce the full word, it represents, but you write the shortened form. I hope you have got that. We have many other examples of abbreviations. Examples in titles. Mm, doctor. How do you write doctor? It is written as D-R. Captain. It is written as C-A-P-T. Senior. A person who is older, who was born first. Senior is written as S-R. Junior. A person who was born second. It is written as J-R. The, the, mm, the younger, the younger person. Um, for example, when a person is called uh, Joan 
And then he has a son, and he decides to call his son also John. So the father would be John Sr., and the son would be John Jr. So here, as you see in front of you, each title is a shortened form. It is an abbreviation. It is written as a shortened form, but pronounced as the full word. Other examples are the days of the week. Can you see in front of you? Sunday, it is written as S-U-N. Monday, M-O-N. Tuesday, Wednesday. Can you see Wednesday? Just W-E-D. Thursday, T-H-U-R. Friday, F-R-I. So here, we write a shortened form, but we pronounce the full word. Also, the names of the months provide us with more examples of abbreviations. January, Jan, February, Feb, March, April, May, June, July. Can you see that May, June, July don't have abbreviations? They are so short. Why would we give them abbreviations if they are so short like that? August, A-U-G, September, S-E-P, October, O-C-T, November, N-O-V, December, D-E-C. So, can you, do you get the idea of an abbreviation now? You write a shortened form and you pronounce a full form. Now, we come to acronyms. An acronym is different from an abbreviation. As I told you, an abbreviation is a shortened form of one word only one word, while an acronym, on the other hand, is the initial letters of many words. Initial letters of many words. I'll give you examples. Laser. Of course, all of us heard the word laser, but do you know that laser comes from light amplification? by stimulated emission of radiation. Imagine our life if we have to say all these words whenever we mention the word laser. Thank God they have coined an acronym. Thank God for that. Laser, light, amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Did you notice that Laser comes from the first letter or the initial letter of each word. When they get the initial letter of each word, join them together, we end up having laser, the acronym. It is the formation of the initial letters of all these words. L from light, A, amplification, S, stimulated, E, Emission, R, radiation, laser, light, amplification, يعني معناها تضخيم الضوء, تزويد قوة الضوء, by stimulated emission of radiation عن طريق تحفيز إصدار الإشعاع. تخيلوا, imagine, if we have to say all these words whenever we want to say the word laser. Scuba, self Contained underwater breathing apparatus. جهاز بيساعد على التنفس تحت الماء. Scuba. Scuba. We have the term scuba diving coming from that. Scuba. Scuba diving. You use this apparatus. بتستخدم الجهاز ده. You use this apparatus when you dive underwater. So scuba. S comes from self, C contained, U underwater, B breathing, A apparatus. Do you see that? We get the first letter of each word and we form the word scuba. And we start using scuba and forget completely about those words which would make our life really difficult if we keep using all these words to describe a particular kind of diving. AIDS. بعد الشر علينا ربنا يحمينا جميعا يا رب. 
AIDS is a disease. It is a, it is a disease that kills people. Inshallah, 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 Rabbina yahmina wa yahfazna jami'an ya Rabbil alameen. AIDS is also an acronym. Can you see? AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Yani, marad, naqs, al-mana'a, al-muktasaba. A comes from acquired. I comes from immuno. D comes from deficiency. And S comes from syndrome. So here we have AIDS. We stop using acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and we keep using the word AIDS. Do you get it now? Acronym is the kind of abbreviation in which you take the initial letters of each, of, a, of each word in a series of words and you pronounce the new word, the new acronym as a word on its own. Laser, scuba, AIDS. But can you see the difference between AIDS, scuba and laser? And on the other hand, you have CSI, CIA, FBI, KSA, UK, USA. Hmm? Do you get the difference? Both of them, both groups have the initial word, the initial letter of words, but the second group, CSI, CIA, FBI, KSA, USA, all of them pronounce one letter at a time. Hmm? Is it different from acronym? Yes, it is. Acronym, you pronounce all the letters together as one new word. But in the case, when you pronounce one letter at a time, it is called initialism. It is called initialism. So here, initialism is also a type of abbreviation where you also take the let the first letters of a number of words but you pronounce one letter at a time we have many examples csi crime scene investigation mm? يعني ايه يعني ايه crime scene investigation do you know what does it mean Actually, it is, the it is the name of an American TV series. Very, very famous TV series. Mm? يعني إيه؟ يعني تحليل مكان الجريمة. التحقيق في, مجا في مكان الجريمة. C, crime. Scene, مشهد أو مكان. Investigation, التحقيق. CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. وكالة المخابرات الأمريكية FBI Federal Bureau of Investigations Do you think now of the name of your country when we say KSA Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Is it an acronym or an initialism? Hmm? Good job, well done. I know you've got it right. It is an initialism because we pronounce each letter at a time. One letter at a time. K-S-A. What about the name of your university? P-N-U. Princess Nura University. It is also an initialism because we pronounce one letter at a a time. Now, I bet you know what is an abbreviation. Hmm? Do you know? Shortened form of one word. You write the shortened form and you pronounce the full word. Acronym. You take the first letters of a number of words and you form a new word and you pronounce the new formed word as a whole word like laser, scuba and AIDS. Initialism. You also take the first letters of a number of words but you pronounce one letter at a time like P in you. KSA, CIA, FBI, CSI, and so on. I, I hope you've got the difference between the three of them. We have more examples in this slide. FBI, it stands for Federal 
Bureau of Investigations, but we pronounce it as FBI. As you see, I have highlighted the initial letter of each word in purple color so you would get how we have formed this initialism. NATO. Mm. Is NATO an initialism or an acronym? Who would say that? the answer? Who would give me the answer? NATO. Is it an initialism or an acronym? Mm? Well done! NATO is an acronym, not an initialism, because you pronounce it, it as a word, not as a sequence of letters. So you say NATO, not N-A-T-O. You say NATO, so it is an acronym. It stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I U Back, I U Pack, I U Pack. It stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. The Ittihad Al Alami Lil Kimia It Tadbiqia Wa Il Nakia. Hina, Hina, Rakizu Maya. Low Ehna Natana Il Kalima. الليترز الأولانية من كل ال 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 سلسلة الكلمات اللي كونا منها كلمة واحدة لو نطقناها as one word كلمة واحدة زي ناتو زي ايدز زي سكوبا كده تبقى أكرونيم لأنها تنطقت as one word لكن لو نطقناها as a sequence of letters زي سلسلة من الأصوات الحروف كل حرف لوحده في هذه الحالة هتبقى initialism أنا شرحتها كمان هو بالعربي رغم أن أنا قلتها كتير بالإنجليش بس أنا قلتها بالعربي برضو عشان اللي ما لقطهاش يحاول أن هو يفهمها كمان بالعربي Other examples written front of you KSA Kingdom of Saudi Arabia UK United Kingdom USA United States of America The three examples are initialisms and you know you know now why they are initialisms because we pronounce each letter at a time Do you get it Is it clear now Is it clear I'm waiting for all your queries on our chat room or even uh, on the WhatsApp group we have uh, formed. So please, if you have any query, just don't hesitate to send me your query at any time and I'm going to answer all your queries. ودلوقتي بعد ما اتكلمنا على الابريفيشنز والاكرونيمز وكمان الانيشاليزمز تعتقدوا احنا بنستخدمهم ليه؟ هي هتخلي الدنيا أسهل بكتير بدل ما نقول كل الكلمات دي لا ده احنا هنقول كلمة واحدة أو مجموعة بسيطة جدا من الحروف يبقى إذا these abbreviations and acronyms are found in the first place to make communication much more easier and also faster now can you think of other abbreviations or acronyms تقدروا كل واحدة فيكو تفكر في أي أكرونيم أو أبريفيشن مر عليها قبل كده وده هو الأساينمنت بتاعنا النهاردة إن أنتوا كل واحدة فيكو تفكر في ثلاثة أكرونيم أو أبريفيشن أو حتى إنيشاليزم وتبعتهم لي إن شاء الله على البلاك بورد وأنا هنتظر الأساينمنت بتاعتكو كلها As I told you in the exam, I'm going to give you six abbreviations, initialisms, or acronyms and ask you to get me the words which we used to get those abbreviations, acronyms, or initialisms. يعني, أنا في الامتحان إن شاء الله هجيب لك سؤال في ستة من الاختصارات وانت عليك ان انت تجيبي لي الكلمات الاصلية اللي احنا جبنا منها الاختصارات دي سواء كان الاختصار abbreviation عادي يعني اختصار كلمة واحدة تقصير shortening one word only 
أو كان الاختصار ده شكله أكرونيم يعني أنا جبت الحروف الأولى من مجموعة من الكلمات وخلتها كلمة واحدة أنطقها ككلمة أو إن أنا خدت الحروف الأولى من مجموعة من الكلمات وبنطقها as a sequence of letters يعني كسلسلة من الحروف ورا بعض الستة دول أنت إن شاء الله هتجاوبيهم في الاختبار مش هطلع برا المحاضرة دي يعني انت عليكي ان انت تحفظي كل الامثلة اللي موجودة في المحاضرة وهي المحاضرة عشرة سلايدز بس يعني مجموعة بسيطة من الامثلة مع فوكس كبير على الامثلة الموجودة من سلايد رقم سبعة الى سلايد رقم عشرة لان الامثلة دي هي مستخدمة في البزنس ابريفيشنز في مجال العمل انت هتلاقي نفسك بيمر عليكي الابريفيشنز دي كتير فتعالوا نبدأ نبدأ مع بعض من السلايد نمبر 7 The first one we meet is at What do you think about this one? Is it an abbreviation, acronym or initialism? Mm. Can you tell me? I think you got to try it It is an abbreviation Why is it an abbreviation? لأنه اختصاره قدامنا مجرد سيمبل حرف واحد ومع ذلك لما بنيجي ننطقه بننطق الورد الأساسية بتاعتي وهي at number two طبعا سوري قبل ما اروح على number two number one at احنا بنشوفه كتير جدا لأنه هو جزء من الإيميل وكلنا طبعا عندنا إيميل فالسامبل at ده very very common and frequent number two ASAP ASAP And it stands for as soon as possible. As soon as possible. يعني في أسرع وقت. We pronounce it as ASAP. What do you think is it? Abbreviation, acronym, or initialism? Yes, it is an initialism. ASAP. Number three. ATM. But of course, all of us know what's an ATM. But do you know what the word that we took those letters, the words that we took these letters from? A. Automated. T. Teller. M. Machine. يعني ماكينة الصراف الآلي. It also has other meanings. Cash dispenser. Or cash point. But if I give it to you in the exam, I want you to write automated teller machine to show me A comes from automated, T comes from teller, and M gives us, uh, comes from the word machine. Okay? Now let's move to slide number eight. The first word we see here is approximately, 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 تقريباً, تقريباً. And if you look at the way it is written, it is, of course, an abbreviation. So it is a shortened form of the original word. الكلمة اللي بعدها. C, C, copy carbon, copy two. Copy carbon يعني نسخة مماثلة نسخة كربونية ودي احنا بنستخدم سي سي الاختصار ده موجود في الايميل وان شاء الله هندرس ده لما نيجي ناخد محاضرة البزنس ايميلز او احنا اه هتشوفوها ان سي سي لما لما تيجي ترسل نسخة مماثلة من الايميل بتاعك لشخص اخر عشان ينظر الى هذا الايميل فسي سي معناها copy carbon طيب CC abbreviation ولا acronym ولا initialism yes you're right good job it is initialism ليه عشان نطقنا الحرفين كل واحد لوحده separate sequence of letters CC الورد اللي بعد كده هي department 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 يعني قسم وشايفين مكتوبة ازاي الاختصار بتاعها DEPT طبعا ده Abbreviation اختصار للكلمة الواحدة اللي بعدها number number 
يعني رقم او عدد طبعا الاختصار بتاعها ان او ونحط جنبها دايما نقطه كده دي طبعا برضو ابريفيشن لان اختصار لكلمه واحده عندنا فورورد فورورد دي ايضا من المصطلحات المستخدمه في الايميل ودي معناها اعاده توجيه لما نيجي نبعت الايميل بتاعنا ده لحد ايه لحد اخر والاختصار بتاعها اف دبليو دي دي واخده حرف من اول الكلمه وحرف من نصها وحرف من اخرها لكن هي تنطق فورورد فهي اختصار لكلمه واحده abbreviation وناو وي موف تو سلايد نمبر 9 company company شركه الاختصار بتاعها CEO limited company limited company شركه محدوده الاختصار بتاعها LTD estimated time of arrival الوقت المحدد او المقدر له او المتوقع للوصول estimated time of arrival يعني انا لو عايزه اقول مثلا ان شخص هياخد فتره قد كذا يومين مثلا او ثلاث ايام عشان يوصل لنا يبقى ده كده او باكج معينه مثلا احنا طالبين ديليفري وفي باكج هتوصل لنا فال estimated time of arrival of this package is 3 days for example يبقى ETA يعني estimated time of arrival الوقت المحدد او المتوقع وصول الشيء ده فيه هو كذا ETA estimated time of arrival الكلمه اللي بعد كده هي please please شايفين الاختصار بتاعها abbreviation p l s بعد كده عندنا v a t او vat vat value added tax vat طبعا هي اكرونيم لانها بتتنطق vat مش v a t vat value added tax لو بصينا على ltd وعلى eta هنلاقيها ان هي initialism لاننا بننطق كل حرف لوحده لكن vat اكرونيم لاننا نطقناها كل على بعض الحروف على بعضيها كانها one word vat value added tax بمعنى ضريبة القيمة المضافة ودي في كل الفواتير لما تيجي تشتري أي حاجة هتلاقي دايما مكتوب فيها في الريسيت فات يعني ضريبة القيمة المضافة Now let's move to slide number 10 and it is the last slide today أول اختصار عندنا هو VIP VIP وطبعا ده initialism واضح قوي نطقنا كل حرف لوحده VIP وده very frequent uh, in use actually لان احنا دايما بنستخدمه الشخص ده VIP انا بتعامل معاملة VIP يبقى كده يعني ايه VIP يعني very important person شخص مهم جدا عندنا بعدها PA PA personal assistant يعني مساعد شخصي حاجه كده زي السكرتير الشخصي CMO chief marketing officer CMO chief marketing officer بمعنى مدير التسويق وبكده نكون خلصنا النهارده المحاضره بتاعتنا عن الابريفيشنز الاكرونيمز والانيشاليزمز واتمنى ان انتوا تكونوا فهمتوا الفرق بينهم وعرفتوا كل الامثله ويا ريت ان احنا ان شاء الله بعد ما فهمنا كده نحفظ كل الامثله علشان متوقع ان هيكون منها في الامتحان زي ما قلت لكم سته هجيبهم في الامتحان فنحفظ كل الامثله الموجوده في السلايدز وربنا يوفقكم باذن الله ثانك يو سو ماتش اند سي يو ان ذا نيكست lecture